hi guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be doing a little diy on how to get the safety pinned tie-dyed muscle t-shirts that are currently all over the internet For the sake of this DIY, you're going to need a pack of muscle t-shirts, if not you can just get one, a tie-dye kit, and safety pins, either silver or gold, whatever you prefer. For the sake of this video, I'm using both. Then with your freshly washed muscle shirt, you can go ahead and try it on and see how long you want it to be or how short you want to cut it. Me, I'm just going to put a little nick in the middle just so when I take it off, I know how long I want to cut it. Then once the shirt is off, you can go ahead and cut it and then try it back on to see if you want it shorter. Um, I suggest cutting it longer and then working your way up because once it's cut, it's cut. Then with your cut shirt, you're going to go ahead and start your tie-dye method. Um, if you don't want a tie-dye, go ahead and skip this step. But since I want mine tie-dyed, I'm just going to pinch the shirt and crumple it up. And basically use the rubber bands to um, separate it or keep it together in five different ways. And that's going to create a little ball. Now for the tie-dye part of this video, you're going to go ahead and take your shirts and lay them out on a trash bag just to avoid some mess. And then you're going to take your preferred colors. I'm using pink, blue, and green to get my desired colors. And basically what I'm going to do is take some hot water and fill the water all the way to that line that is on the bottle. And for me, I'm going to use these two to go ahead and make pink and then I have the blue and the green set aside because that's what I'm going to use for that one shirt and there's really no way to um, tie dye you basically just take the dye and splatter it all over the white shirts again once you rinse it out and you pull it out of the water it's basically gonna look like that's how it was made. Again, there's no correct way to basically do tie-dye. As you can see with this blue, I'm just going ham and putting it all over. And then I'm just gonna take that green and fill in all the white spots that I see. And here's where I noticed that this tie-dye kit didn't come with a lot of pink and I seen those empty spots. I'm just going to take that blue and fill in again where the white is at. I really don't care. I mean, it's going to turn out cute anyways because again, there's no incorrect way to do tie-dye. So I'm just taking this blue and filling that in. Then you're going to set your creations aside in a bag for approximately four hours. And after those four hours, you can go ahead and rinse your shirt. I'm just doing it in that little tub just to show you guys. But again, you're going to rinse it out in some cold water. And as you can see, tie dyed. And I'm just showing you how I did the pink one, the pink and the blue one. And then, of course, the green and the blue. So after I let these dried, I tried them on and I liked it, but I actually didn't get a clip of me doing this shirt. So I'm actually going to show how I did this exact design on a yellow tie-dye shirt I did off camera. Okay. 
And this one I actually love out of all of the ones that I tie dyed. I'm basically going to take that shirt once it's dried and outline kind of with my eye on where I want to cut it. I do want to make a little swivel like I do see in the other pictures that I've seen across the internet. And from there I'm just going to take my scissors and begin to cut. Then you want to go ahead and cut the other side. You don't want to cut them too wide, but you want to go ahead and make sure that the slit is at least noticeable. Then taking your first safety pin, you want to start from the bottom and work your way up. And just eyeing it, you want to make sure that everything is even and everything is spaced out to your liking. Then once you're done with the safety pins, you can try on the shirt and see how you like it. If you want the opening to be more closed, I know if you add more safety pins, that'll pull it in together. But I actually like how mine looks, so I'm going to leave it as is. Super quick and easy and super cute DIY to do. I've seen this all over the internet and I just had to try it and I'm so glad I did because I love this shirt and how it turned out. But that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Continue to like my content, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next one.